Um, welcome everybody. My name is Kelsey Jones. I'm one of the international admissions counselors here at the University of Wisconsin La Crosse. Today we bring you a great treat. One of our distinguished alumni is here with us. We're going to do kind of a quick 10 to 15 minute kind of interview, little informal conversation between two alumni of UWL. Um, I'm going to allow him to introduce himself, tell us a little bit about him, then we'll go into kind of some of those questions as well. Gotcha. And, and Kelsey, just uh, really appreciate the opportunity to be here. Uh, my name is Wally Aligbide, and uh, UWL uh, alumni. Uh, graduated with Information Systems, and obviously honored to uh, be selected as the Distinguished Alumni re Recipient for, uh, for 2019. Um, currently, I serve as Director of Strategy Management Services at Mayo Clinic, and what I do is I oversee our innovation uh, uh, departmental priority. So when you think about Mayo Clinic, yes, it's the number one hospital in, in the nation and world, but you know what is really key uh, about Mayo is really just uh, the focus on patients and, and innovation. And so the area that I lead in the lab is really more, you know, uh, when we're thinking about just research and development for tests like COVID tests. So we do a lot of a, a lot of uh, key activities like that, and I oversee you know a large team of product managers, business analysis. And our whole idea is just to make sure that we execute on, uh, on the departmental and Mayo Clinic strategy. So, so from a Mayo Clinic perspective, that's sort of what I do. Uh, and the community, you know, vice president of the Rochester NAACP, I'm a TED Talk speaker, um, human rights commissioner, and, you know, I have my own uh, small business and, you know, I, you know, I used to be a database administrator and also the, the president of the La Crosse Rochester product management chapter. So, so really engaged in the community and, and, and uh, so excited to be here. Awesome, thank you, Wale. Um, I think it's important that you noted a lot of those things. One, I was definitely promoting your, your TED Talk. Um, I know a lot of people that I sent it to um, with Education USA and the various countries throughout Sub-Saharan Africa were really interested in viewing. So I hope that they were able to see it live or get a chance to see that later on. And then you also talked about um, being really involved in the community. And that is something that we stress to all of our international students as they come here. Academics is a large part of what they do, but also being involved in the community. So it's great that you talked about some of those. Now I want you to think a little bit more, a little back, a little bit further, and think about when you were searching for a university, how did you hear about UW Lacrosse? And why did you choose it? <laughs> <laughs> so uh so, so to be honest with you, I mean, I, and I'll just give you, so I, uh, you know, I was born in Nigeria, went to an American school, uh, lived in Lome, Togo for, I think, 12 years, uh, got to speak a little bit of French, and then went back to Nigeria to the military school. So I was looking forward to, uh, first of all, an American uh, uh, education. That was something that I was uh, comfortable with. And, and then also just, you know, in terms of like, you know, UWL, I didn't really initially care where I went to. I just wanted a good education. And, you know, I looked at the big campuses, you know, like, you know, Rice University, University of Houston, you know, and, and ultimately uh, I had a family friend who had taught in uh, UWL in the 70s. And uh, he said, uh, you know, uh, UWL lacrosse is, is a good place. Um, and, and so that was kind of it, you know, and I, uh, you know, and I knew it was cold and I saw that, you know, hey, it's, it's cold, it gets a negative, but it, it doesn't really register if you haven't been in it. So when I came here, it was extremely cold and that was a, a big shock to the system. But apart from the weather, the culture was good, people are helpful. And, you know, I mean, it's uh, lacrosse is the, the longest place now that I've lived all my life. So, you know, I mean, I consider it home, um, but, but that's really how I got started. You know, a family member or a family friend uh, uh, told my uncle, hey, this is a great school. And as I researched more about, uh, about UWL, you know, I looked at Madison and, you know, the, the good thing about lacrosse is it's, it's smaller. And then you have that student to teacher ratio where you can actually get to uh, know people. And, and so that sort of appealed to me. Uh, and it's sort of what you, you know, uh, what you make of it. It's uh, from a diversity perspective, lacrosse is a lot better now than, you know, uh, it used to be when I was here. But we had people from international students from, you know, Nigeria, we had Kenya. Uh, we had Ghana, um, uh, we had folks from Jamaica, Trinidad, Tobago, uh, and obviously you had from other con continents as well. So it was a great experience. 
That's so good to hear that you had such a great experience. And I think your story of having heard it from a family friend is kind of that word of mouth that we talk about all the time when it comes to recruitment. Um, and I think that's why utilizing our alumni in this way is important because students get to see um, someone that's been through it can experience and really talk about it um, from a similar perspective than someone like me um, who works who works for the university, right? So yep. that's that's certainly great to hear. So kind of going back to the same theme, keep thinking back, thinking back to your time here. What was your academic experience like at UWL? Did you have a favorite class, favorite professor that really resonated with you or still resonates with you today? Yeah, so uh, I mean, my academic experience, and I'll just uh, sort of share this, it's been, uh, I wouldn't say a mixed bag, but you know, there was, a, I had a, a, some difficulty initially when I came to, to lacrosse. So first of all, I wanted to, go into computer science, right? You know, that was my initial major, graduated with information systems, but I wanted to go into a computer, computer science class. And, and I remember being shocked because, you know, uh, one of my first classes, you know, it was competitive, we were doing programming, and I'm still trying to figure out, well, how do I create a folder? Where do I put tins on? <laughs> you know, and, and, and so that was a, a, a big shock. And, you know, when I look at sort of my career in terms of, you know, uh, a student from Africa, you just initially struggling in terms of programming and even have to, uh, you know, create folders and, and stuff like that. And I look at the journey to where I've been. So I worked at the uh, information services department. So our financial aid software, I created that, our job board, you know, a lot of uh, critical systems for, for the university. You know, I had that opportunity uh, through the Office of Residence Life. And, and so lacrosse has really given me so, uh, UWL has given me a lot of great opportunities, you know, coming to college, you know, struggling, and then, you know, keep working at it, and, and it kind of clicked to me, and from there, I mean, that's how I got to become a database administrator, that's how I got to really learn all those critical skills, so there's a lot of support, you know, here, you know, um, but again, you know, a journey was not an easy one, so I just want to, you know, tell uh, folks to know that, look, when you come to UWL, at least my journey, and I'm not send, sending you or, or sell, selling you a brick. It was really, really, really critical, and people were really supportive. Um, and I know that I'm not answering all of your questions. What was the other part of the question so I can get to it? Um, um, what was your, did you have a favorite class or a favorite yeah. professor that you So my favorite class, you know, it's not information systems or computer science, and those are fun. It's actually, uh, a college writing class, uh, and uh, the the instructor is Paul Heckman, and and what I love love about Mr. Heckman was he really got you the to think about how do you communicate your thoughts, you know, in, in a creative way, and and uh, being able to communi uh, communicate effectively, it's something that is is critical. I mean, I just ran for a county commissioner, you know, my TED talk. Those are really critical mm -hmm. skills. So you could use that in business, you could use that in, in anything you want to do. And, and what I loved about uh, Mr. Heckman was he just brought a lot of passion to what he did. You know, he welcomed you, he, he didn't make you feel different. I mean, he just loved you, the, the whole you, you know, your, your culture and everything. And so, so that was one of my favorite classes. Now, in terms of uh, maybe not favorite classes, but just uh, innovative classes, you know, the information systems are really key. Just, you know, you're learning computers, you're learning business and how to apply to it, you know, or how to apply that. So, uh, but yeah, a lot, lots of classes, but it will be college writing with Mr. Heckman and then the, the information systems courses. Perfect. Um, just to piggyback off that real quick, um, you talked about how um, with, with your academic experience, it was a bit of a struggle, but it was important that you had that support. And I think that's important for all students to know that even if you do struggle, you should feel supported that you can still be successful in whatever you do. Yeah. Um, and while you wanted to start with computer science, you end up going information systems. A lot of times international students um, don't realize that there's a lot of different avenues career-wise to go um, that doesn't necessarily say the same thing as your major or, or is invisible in that way. So can you talk about a little bit of how your um, degree in information systems has kind of taken you through various career avenues? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, a lot, a lot to pack there, and, and I'll get to the information system, but I'll just say this, in, in terms of just the support, I mean, uh, you know, I, I, I know that when you're looking at international students, you know, 
you know, uh, like for me, for example, I had financial issues. I mean, things were really tough, right? You know, I mean, there were times where I didn't even have a single grain of rice to eat. And I'm not, I mean, and that's not, I'm not uh, overstating that. Um, but I had the support and, and what lacrosse gave me were the skills that, you know, were really critical for me to really uh, use my talents, you know, networking, working hard. Well, lacrosse gave me those critical skills. So, so regardless of whatever your, your uh, uh, a particular situation is, and yes, college is expensive in the United States, you know, if you can get here, you know, and, and you can get the, those uh, key resources, it, it's really critical. So it's really uh, been a, a game changer for me in my life. Now, in terms of, you know, how information systems has really helped uh, my career. So uh, first of all, the IS courses, information systems with the business and the computers, uh, it gave me just the ability to understand business and computers. I, originally, I wanted to make sure how do we uh, create uh, technology to really, uh, you know, uh, provide value to our community. Having those key sets of skills made it possible for me to start my own business, made it possible for instructors to say, if you're looking for a, a database guru, go to Wally. So those are things that were happening without me knowing. And from there, those, you know, I, I got opportunities where, you know, some of my software was run by Rollins Sporting Goods, you know, Mike in sports, and then I became an IT manager, got headhunted by Ashley Furniture, the, the number one home furniture company uh, a manufacturer in the world, mm -hmm. you know, and, and then, you know, in, and then you look at my journey now uh, at Mayo Clinic, the number one hospital in the nation, in the world. And, and so it's really been, you know, and I still apply, still use those, those key skills. So I say lacrosse is sort of where I, you know, I hone my skills. Now, in terms of my grits, you know, that that came from my military education in Nigeria, uh, that came from my background. But, but you can have grit, but you need to be able to have the, you know, the the, the skills to put it all together, and also have the opportunity to really uh, uh, test those skills. So, so lacrosse is, is, is has been great. That's so amazing to hear um, that you were able to take your experiences here and really utilize that in, in a variety of ways. Um, one thing we talked about earlier was just being involved in community and stuff like that. Was there a particular um, student organization or group on campus that really got you started with that that has continued throughout your? Uh, sure, sure. So I started uh, initially, you know, I mean, there's an international uh, student organization. And, and when I was in campus, I'm not sure how the makeup was now, but I mean, we had like the international banquet and this was a great opportunity to just show off your culture, you know, so we're the Agbada, you know, and, and all of that stuff. So, so that was a great opportunity to actually showcase your culture to lacrosse. And, and, and a lot of people came uh, and also you, you, we had, at least then we had the ability to cook our food. And, and, and so, so that was something that people just loved. The community loved it. Uh, students loved it. It was a, a really nice party, you know. Uh, there are other organizations like the Black Student uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, BSU, Black Student yeah. Union, right? Mm -hmm. And you know, I was not a, a part of the uh, BSU, but I was. I had friends there, and I'd go to BSU events and stuff like that. Um, the other thing that I did was I, you know, I uh, joined uh, the UWL Aikido Club, you know, and so did a lot of martial arts and. Uh, but, you know, from a, like an NAACP perspective, that sort of happened later on in my career. And so at, at some point, you get to, at least in my stage, you get to a part where, okay, you're contributing to society. Uh, yes, you're making money, but there's got to be more. And, and, and so how do I give back? How do I make a difference? Um, nobody is coming to save us. We are who, you know, we, we're going to save ourselves. And, and so I got to the point where I need to do something to make our community, our society better for my kids, for, for everybody. So, so that's really what took me going into the, the social justice uh, 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 arena. And, and I, I mean, I got, I mean, I was fortunate two years ago. I mean, I got to see uh, uh, Congressman John Lewis, you know, on a plane. And uh, I mean, it was, you know, we had a really good conversation. And I mean, you know, so it's, this is really important work. So no matter what you're doing, you know, it's important to give back because you have to make it possible. You need to uh, make it possible for the for future generations to actually 
benefit. We, we all don't do this alone. I mean, I had some help. Yes, I had to do my academics. I had to create the software. But, you know, I had help along the way, too, in UWL. I had help along the way with family and the community. So, so for me personally, I think it's really important to give back, you know, and, and it's not even giving back. You're really enriching yourself. So I love that last part, really enriching yourself, kind of a killing two birds with one stone, able to give back to the community, but also continuing to progress and enlighten yourself as well. Yeah. I definitely agree with your advice as far as as you go on through your your life and your career, you start to realize there's more that you can do. Um, I know I'm going through that same thing right now. I currently work with one of my friends. He has this organization called Minds of Jamaica, which is a mentorship yep. program for students. And I'm a, men I'm a mentor um, through that program. So it's little things like that that you guys start to progress. And I think international students, when they first come here, they may not realize that, but as they go on, they may start to see that as well. So that's great. Yeah, so and, and, I'll, and, and, yeah, and, and I'll just share this too. In, in terms of just fun, you know, I mean, uh, we had parties. We threw in a, a lot of nice parties. Now with COVID, you probably can't do anything, right? <laughs> you, you know, but, you know, so lacrosse is not Chicago or Minneapolis or, or whatever, but I think wherever you are, you know, uh, you, you, make, you, you make it a, you make your experience uh, uh, what you want it to be, you know, and so we had fun, you know, and I have lifelong friendships, you know, that I've developed, you know, uh, in UWL. I mean, I have, you know, really strong friends that are in Nigeria now. I have a friend that's in the cities and, and, and so, and, and also instructors that are now, you know, that were mentors and now close friends. So you really make it, uh, you make your, your environment what you want it to be. And, you know, we had fun in lacrosse. Yes, it was cold and sometimes it was negative uh, 20, you know, 30, you know, but, but guess what? It's still fun. And you, you know, you can still have a great time. Uh, the river is beautiful, the Mississippi River. You know, you can go to Chicago, it's close by, you know, there's the city. So, but it's what, what I love about lacrosse is it's a, it's a small, big city. And so you can definitely you have a good time for your academics and you can also have fun. You know, definitely not a, your your big city like Chicago, but but it's more the middle of the road. So it's, it's certainly worked for me. Yeah, that's, that's certainly true. Um, I'm originally from New York City, so I definitely get what you mean there. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you have, was there any like uh, specific experience that you had here in lacrosse that you may have never thought you would ever do, like an outdoor experience or something new that you tried here that you, when you first coming from Nigeria, you never thought, I'm, I probably would never do this. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to think back. Uh, so, okay. So I, I haven't done this yet, but so there's, uh, there's called something called a polar plunge. So it's freezing in winter. Yeah, this is crazy stuff, right? Mm -hmm. And, and people jump in the cold water in winter. Why would you do that? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I, you know, and I haven't got, I, I've not had a chance to do that. I was going to do it uh, uh, two years ago to, uh, as part of a community support, I think for kids with disabilities. Mm -hmm. So I am going to probably do it, but there are things like that that I had no idea. Why would anybody jump into the cold lake? <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, uh, but, but it's, it's, it's fun, you know, it, you, uh, you know, so, so those, that's something that I have not done yet, but, uh, but in terms of, you know, fishing, kayaking, canoeing, I mean, it's just, it's, just, it's just awesome, so. Yeah, great new experiences for sure. So as we kind of wrap up, do you have any other kind of final advice for students that are considering UWL? Yeah, so uh, I, I say this, you know, UWL is, is a great university. It's, uh, I, I have no regrets, you know, and uh, it's been, Hey, look, look, I, I, I'm a hiring manager. I hire people, I, you know, I hire people from Ivy League universities and, and you know, and, and the education you're going to get in UWL is, is, is top quality. I don't know what the rankings are right now, but I think after Madison, UWL is number one. And in some cases, it may be even higher than Madison, depending on the, the degree program. I think the physical therapy program, I think UWL is number one, you know, so, uh, so it's, it's a really good university. So don't just think of the fact that it's a small university that you're not getting a quality education, you know, a lot of excellent uh, uh, instructors. Uh, but I'd say this, so my mode, my personal motto is really this. I, I say, do your best and leave the rest. So in, any, in everything you do, and I really mean that, 
you know, uh, really focus on doing your best. And then after that, just leave the rest, things that are beyond your control, don't worry about it. Uh, but I will say this, if you come to UW lacrosse and if you really apply yourself and regardless of whatever the situations are, you know, uh, you, you, you're gonna make it. So uh, happy to talk to anybody that wants to reach out, but this is, uh, uh, I mean, I have no regrets. I have a family, you know, I, and I, you know, lacrosse was really where it all started. You know, I married, you know, I have a, a, a beautiful wife, beautiful family. Uh, the International Banquet was also one of those uh, connection points, you know, where I started my family, so, or, or at least got to meet my wife. So you, you never know where those opportunities are going to, are going to bring you. And, and now I'm a TED Talk speaker, I mean, and work in a Mayo Clinic. So I, I never imagined that. So look, uh, just uh, apply yourself, be focused on what you want to do. And, but I know that the people in UWL and I know a lot of instructors are still here. They care about you, they want you to succeed. And, and so this is a, an absolutely great place to, to, to be. Well, thank you for those amazing words of wisdom. I'm sure we have tons of students probably watching this that will think, oh, I might want to reconsider and take a second look at UW Lacrosse, right? And if that's no, still, absolutely. Um, you can definitely contact me. I would love to get you in contact with Wale. He's given permission over video, so we have it recorded. He's more than willing to talk with you all, so we certainly appreciate it there. Thank you so much, Wale, again, um, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. No, appreciate it. Th thanks a lot, guys.